Hello and welcome to Soul for today's video, which is the second part of my uh, video series about magic squares. So today we're going to uh, go to um, a little bit intricate uh, stuff about um, general uh, odd order magic squares. Okay, so how to create them and what is it? Odd order magic square. Well, it's very easy. It means that the, the number of cells on the side is an odd number like 3 by 3, 5 by 5, um, 7 by 7, etc. We're going to go to um, even order um, squ magic squares in next videos, but for today we're going to uh, work with odd order magic squares and we're going to see also very nice uh, magic squares that have uh, some very special properties and maybe you can use it, use them or use it as a magic trick. So how about that? So let's do and uh, create odd order magic squares. So the method we're going to use here is the, called the Siamese method or de la Loubert method, which is uh, cool because for once I'm going to pronounce something properly. Anyway, how does this work? So here are, um, the, here are the principles for this method. So first principle, which is a very general principle when you try to uh, create some magic squares, is you wrap around, which means that when you, you, you go up, then you wrap around and arrive down. And if you go down, you wrap like everything's wrapped around. If you know mathematics, it's like you are on a donut. So if you and, uh, get out on the, on the right, then you arrive on the left. If you play Pac-Man, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you start in the middle of the first row. So top, middle, that's very easy. You go upright, so you count and you go upright. Easy also. And if you count, which means that if the square you uh, arrive, is, the place is already occupied, there's some other numbers in there, then instead of going upright, you go down. That's it, that's very simple. And that's how you build any uh, even uh, um, order uh, magic square. So let's do this for the three by three and see how it goes. Yeah, we start in the middle top row. Okay, so we get the, our one. Then we go upright and already you're going to have to wrap around and arrive at the bottom. Like this. And for the three again we go upright and because upright makes you makes us go uh, outside so we wrap around and arrive on the left and here now if we go upright we can't because the, the place is already uh, taken by one so instead of going upright we go down and then we go back to going upright and again and once we had six, we cannot go upright because we arrive at the place taken by four, so we go down. Fill up the eights. Yes, we wrap around and we arrive at the corner. And finally, the nine. And that's it. We have our three by three magic square. Let's try for the five by five. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So we, we start with the five by five. Middle of top row, like this one then we wrap around and put out two going up right the three wrap around four it's coming there it is five and once we're at five we cannot go further so we go down fill up the rest of the diagonal yeah you can notice the nine at the corner and once you are 10, you cannot go further, so we go down. Fill up the main diagonal. Once you, once you are at 15, you cannot go uh, further because you arrive at the place for the 11, so it's already taken. You go down. Fill up the rest. That is the 17 at the corner. 
and well almost done and we have 65 as a magic constant there's a variation of the, on this method which is this one it's the one I learned when I was a kid wrap around again Start just below the central square. So you have the central square, always there's a central square because we are working with even numbers. And you'll go, instead of going upright, you go down right. Okay. And if you can't go down right, you go down twice. Okay, let's do this. So we start with a magic square, five by five. And I'm going to go first with that. The square just below the central square. Here we put your R1 and then go down, down, right. So put the two and wrapping around we put the three at the corner up there. Keep going for the and five. And once the five is there, we cannot put the six, so we go down twice. When I was a kid actually I was imagining that we were bouncing on the one. And then once the six is put, we can start again going down right. Fill up the seven, eight, nine, ten, and again we we'll bounce around with the eleven, wrapping around and keep going. That is the place of the sixteen, and keep going and fill up everything and that's how you make any even order magic square even if it's 101 by 101 it's a big 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 magic square you're not gonna have any problem using this I would uh, of course uh, recommend you to use uh, program and program uh, software and program that in, a, in any language you want it's gonna be easier but yes this is very very simple algorithm now let's speak about because we are five by five squares to about the five by five pen magic square actually there are several of them so first what is pen magic square pen magic square is a short version of pen diagonal magic square which means that you have a magic square which means the rows the columns and the two diagonals add up to the magic constant a pan, pan diagonal magic square means that also the other diagonals that you could get by wrapping around also add up to the magic constant. So there's an easy way to construct them. So we're gonna construct it, to build it, to create it. But this method only works with pan magic square. So it's not gonna work with, by, for the three by three square because there's no pen magic square three by three but five by five there's one so let's do this so here's the method wrap around again you can start anywhere you want that's a property of pen magic squares you go right and twice up like a knight on a chessboard right and twice up okay and if you can't you go up left okay let's do this so we start any way we want. For instance, here we start in the right in the center. Put our two, like here. One on the right, two up. The three, wrapping around, no problem. And we keep going. Four and five. And once the five is written, we can't write a six because there's one at its place. So we go up, left, and we put the six. And now we can keep going right and two up and keep going and then we keep going we put the 11 because we have to and then at 15 we also blocked by the number 11 so we put the 16 up and right left up and left sorry and we keep filling up everything and we're done okay so we have a pen magic square with a magic constant equal to 65 
So it's a magic square. You can check it out. Lines, I mean, rows, columns, and the both uh, main diagonals add up to 65. Cool. But also, as I told you, the other diagonals, semi-diagonals, if you prefer, by wrapping around, also add up to 65. Any of them. Like this one or that one. But that's not all. This one has much, much more to show you. So pick up any number, like um, for instance, let's think about a movie. Okay, number 23. And then you make a plus sign like this. Yeah, guess what? You get 65. What about a multiply sign? Yeah, 65. What about if we choose the number on the, on, the, on, the, on an edge? Well, if you take a number on an edge like this uh, 21, guess what? By wrapping around, still you can make a plus sign with the sum equal to the magic constant. And the multiply sign is going to do the same for you. We're going to, to get 65 again and still. Okay. What about we take the center square which we started by one we could have started the one anywhere we wanted but anyway the one and the four corners like this guess what yes we get again 65 but there's more like about we still take the center square and the four middles of the edges like this yes we get again 65. Isn't this cool? I really like it. But there's more because 65, okay, it's 65. But what about you can make any number you want? I mean, imagine you have a favorite number, you ask somebody a number, and then you fill up the grid and it's his number everywhere he wants. He we're looking for, he's gonna find the number he wants. So, how, this, how does this work? Well, it's not very difficult, but it's not very simple. Just bear with me a little bit. So when we start at 1, the magic constant is 65. So let's change it. What about which we start at 0? What happens? Well, if we start at 0, that means all the numbers uh, in the grid are going to be 1 less. So for each column, each row, there are going to be five numbers, one less, I mean minus five for each column and each row, and each diagonal, and each of these symbols, multiplied, plus, whatever. So it means that if we start at zero, the magic constant will be 60. That's going to be our mark, our starting point, 60, when we start at zero. And from this, we are uh, going to elaborate if we start at n, the magic constant is going to be 60 plus 5n. So you're going to add 5 times the number you start with. So if you start with 2, you add 5 by 2, 10. So the magic constant is going to be 70. And that's how it works. So now we reverse the process and we can easily find the starting number. For instance, if you want to uh, 75, you know that you know that 75 is 60 plus 15. Okay, and 15 is 3 times 5. So since it's 3 times 5, you start at 3. And you know that your magic square will be always with the magic constant 75. And as an exercise, you can figure out that if you want 0, you start at minus 12. It's going to work. So once you get this for the um, multiples of 5, it gets easy. You practice a little bit and you're going to see it's very easy. 60 plus a multiple of 5 times something. And this time something is the number you're going to start with. Fill up your square and you get it. Not very difficult, not that easy, not very difficult. But you're gonna ask me, if somebody wants something else than a multiple of five, because so far we can make any multiple of five, but that's it. What about somebody who wants to uh, make 78? We will jump 
the last five numbers when you fill up our grid. I'm going to, I'm going to explain you what it means. It's not very difficult. We're gonna see. So, let's make 78. First, we start at 3 to make 75. So far, no problem. Let's do this. We have 3, 75. Okay, good. What do you do now? We fill up everything except the five last numbers, like this. So, we got everything until up until uh, 22, right there on the left. And what do, they, do we do now? If we would, make, would want to make 75, we would continue putting a 23 right there, here. However, we don't want to make 75, we may want to make 78. And if you notice, this, uh, the place of this 23 and the other empty places are each in there's one in each row, each column, it's diagonal, it's semi-diagonal everywhere. Yes, they're put there exactly where there's one of them on each pattern that interests us. So if instead of 23, we put here jump and make instead 26, because we don't want 75, 175 plus 3, so we make, instead of 23, we make 26. Look at this column and look, look at this line. They all jump 3, so they are going to start to make 78. And from this 26, we keep going. 27, 28, 29. And each line, each column, each diagonal, each semi-diagonal, each plus, each plus pattern, its multiply pattern, and, and all of them, will have one and only one of those red numbers which means that it's except of having ex which means that instead of having 275 we're going to have 75 plus 3 hence 78 and that's how it works so we have a nice uh, magic square the only thing you can regret in this, uh, this pattern is that uh, the numbers are not consecutive anymore. You have a gap between 22 and 26. Okay, that's the price to pay to make any number we want. And like this, we have 78 in lines, columns, diagonals, and of course, semi-diagonals who are wrapping around and this way, that way, everything is going to make 78, even our plus pattern, multiplied pattern, and everything. I mean, what about that? I mean, you can make it magic trick or bar trick if you want. Just tell somebody, give me a number between 1 and 100, or 50 and 100, and then you make the pattern, the number you, you want, in a very, very special magic square. That's it for part two. I hope you enjoyed this very special um, magic square, the 5x5 five five pen magic square. And uh, next time we're gonna see more about creating magic squares and special magic squares.